Hi, Smokemaster D coming at you with another Barbecue Buyer's Guide, this time to the top five barbecue reviewers. Now, why am I making this episode? Well, when I've been doing my research on barbecue smokers, I come across a lot of reviewers and some of them, actually a lot of them are not credible. And I'm going to get into the reasons for why those websites and reviewers exist but I'd like to also tell you a bit about the ones who you can trust. This uh, is going to be listed in order of most credible to least. Uh, and next week, I plan on getting the bottom five barbecue reviewers out. And some of the stuff they put on their reviews is quite shocking. Uh, very shocking. I was surprised myself. Um, so please stay tuned for that episode. But let's jump in with the most credible reviewer out there. And that, of course, would be AmazingRibs.com. Now, when you go to AmazingRibs.com, you're going to maybe be surprised that I'm going to tell you that it's the most because it is overflowing with advertisements. But that is actually on purpose. Uh, they will take away all those advertisements if you subscribe. And the subscriber-based model really allows them to be more honest with their reviews. Um, and so that is one thing in their favor. So they have these metals, platinum uh, through bronze, and then not recommended at all. And you can actually look up smokers. Now, they don't have every smoker on there. And some of the ones they have are not judged yet. They'll just have a very simple entry. But if you find a review for a smoker on AmazingRibs.com, you can trust that review. You know, they had somebody use the grill, use the smoker, and, and really put it through its paces. So those are rock-solid reviews, rock-solid ratings. And uh, at the bottom here, I just put some of the reviews for drum smokers. I did um, an episode on drum smokers before. Uh, but there's a platinum rating for the pit barrel cooker for the pit barrel cooker junior, as well as the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco over on the right side, you'll see the uh, barrel house cooker and the gateway drum. There are entries on the site, but they are not judged yet. So that's kind of neutral and maybe a little disappointing, but, um, you know, they're doing the best that they can. Now there are a few drum smokers that I missed on my guide to drum smokers. And one of those is the Hunsacker and it has a gold medal. So, which is a little bit lower than platinum. Uh, and if you go to their website, you can find an explanation for all of their medals. It also got this award for best new products of 2019. Uh, so that's in its favor, but um, yes, amazingribs.com. They are the gold standard for reviews of smokers and barbecue pits. Now, why are there so many reviewers out there who are not credible? And the Amazon affiliate program is largely responsible for this. So the way this works is that you can become an affiliate with Amazon and get links to their website for products and receive a commission if somebody clicks on that link. The commission rates depend on what kind of product it is. And barbecue smokers are either going to be in that 3% section of lawn and garden, or they're going to be on in all other categories for 4%. So say that you click on a link to this Oklahoma Joe's Highland Reverse Flow Smoker, which is very popular on these lists, and you go to Amazon. Now, the other day when I was uh, looking this up, they only had it for $7.25.11. I've looked on it since, and there's a few entries that are cheaper. I think one was somewhere around $525 or $550, depending on which sellers are selling it on Amazon because uh, the price can vary. But if you look over here, you know, 4% of 725 is $29, 3% is $2375. So the people who are putting this on their website, they're hoping to make that kind of money um, if you buy the smoker off of Amazon. Now, the one thing about this is, say that you go, you click the link, you go see that uh, 
Oklahoma Joe's Highland reverse flow is 725.11. And you're like, well, that's that's too much. I think I can find it somewhere else for cheaper. After you've clicked that link for the next 24 hours, anything you buy from Amazon.com, they could get a commission on. Even if it's not the smoker, anything. It's an amazing way to make what they call passive revenue. So they want you to click that link really badly. And that is how the Amazon affiliate program has flooded the review scene for offset smokers. Now, if you actually want uh, the Highland Reverse Flow, you can get it from Tractor Supply for $400 and uh, have a payment plan. So definitely do not get it from Amazon. Now, number two, this guy, David Gafford, he is pretty credible. Uh, I believe he has a YouTube channel as well, the Barbecue Lab. Now, one of the things you're going to find with the people who are less credible is that they're not going to have any premium smokers on their list. But this guy, David Gafford, he put one first. Uh, and that would be that Lang 36 patio smoker. Uh, so he labeled it best under $2,000, which, you know, is is maybe reasonable. Then that Horizon, he put second, the 16-inch uh, classic best under 1000 He put a link there to the Horizon website. He probably would have done even better if he had linked to uh, Cabela's and Bass Pro which is probably going to be a better option for anyone who's not in the close vicinity of Perry, Oklahoma, because uh, the savings that you get on the shipping is probably significant. So the further out you get, the better the deal is from getting it from Bass Pro Cabela's there. Now, also, he did include the Oklahoma Joe's Highland, but he labeled it best under $300. And that's something that I can believe. Uh, you're going to see Oklahoma Joe's Highland uh, regular smoker again on this top five list. And it's not going to be labeled best under 300. So all of the labels that he put on the smokers and the number of smokers that he had and the honest reviews really put the barbecue lab up at number two for me. Now, number three, smoked barbecue source. So... Uh, first off, props for including the Wichita. So best offset smoker for serious enthusiasts. Yeah. So $21.99 plus shipping. I'm not entirely sure if that's the current price there. For the top offset smoker, you're going to see there at the bottom, uh, the Oklahoma Joe Highland Reverse Flow. We've already talked a little bit about that one. And I can see why he would put that one as number one. Uh, especially the whole reverse flow thing will even out the cooking temperatures in the, the cook chamber. And he does mention there's still going to be hotter temperature closer to the firebox despite that because of the, the thin metal. So I, I give him props for pointing that out. The, the one ding that I had for him was the best affordable custom bill offset. And he put this Meadow Creek SQ36. And the main thing I have against that smoker is the the thinner metal. It's 13 gauge. So, you know, affordable custom built. Now, I've given you this alternative here. You can get the Horizon 20 inch classic and add a second shelf for $13.95. It's going to have quarter inch metal and it's probably also going to give you at least as much space. I didn't calculate it all out partly because I'm not entirely sure how much that second shelf will give you. But with the main cooking grate alone, it's almost as much cooking space as this uh, Meadow Creek. So I think that adding this, this Meadow Creek might have been more for the commission uh, to Big Papa's um, website, which he has linked there. And I think that the Horizon 20-inch Classic would work better in this spot than the Meadow Creek SQ. But overall, uh, Joe Clements there who made this site, it's pretty reliable, which is why it's number three. And then number four, Food Fire Friends. Uh, and you're going to notice that as we go down this list, things are going to get uh, kind of worse and worse. 
Now, this one is fairly reliable. The one thing is that this Mark Jenner, who updated it on uh, March 26, which is yesterday, um, he did not update this one section down there that says that you can get the basic setup for this Cheyenne, which is the number two smoker, for under $1,000. That's no longer true, and why they haven't updated that number to, uh, and this is from the Yoder website, it's $11.99. So that's what Yoder is selling it for on their website. Uh, so I don't know of anywhere that you can get the Cheyenne for less than $1,000 nowadays. And um, uh, so just poor reviewing there uh, for updating they include this Pits and Spits as an ultimate smoker pit, as a premium. And Pits and Spits is a great company, so I think that that is really well placed. And you know, who knows, I could have switched this out with Smoked Barbecue Source uh, for number three or number four. It's pretty close, but I decided to go with number four. Part of it is that they have this Oklahoma Joe's Highland Reverse Flow. They put the Cheyenne as runner-up and the Pits and Spits as number three and gave them all full five star reviews. And they only gave the Oklahoma Joes four and a half and still somehow put it at number one. So that really doesn't make any sense to me. And that's part of why I put it at number four. And then lastly, in the top five, uh, things go downhill. <laughs> they really do go downhill. And when we get to numbers six through 10, it's gonna be even worse, but Burning brisket, uh, barbecue everything. They only have uh, products that are linked to Amazon.com. And here, you know, we have the Oklahoma Joe Highland, and they label it as the best traditional offset smoker. And it's really hard to understand how they could label that smoker as a the best traditional offset smoker in the world the only way that that makes any sense at all is if they said it's the best traditional offset smoker sold on amazon and they don't have the integrity to do that at burning brisket which is why they are at number five um and of course as i said there's there's even worse ones out there one of the reasons i did like this list is that it introduced me to this uh kbq c 60 barbecue smoker pit which you see on the left there i just think it's so cool apparently it burns logs on top of the smoking chamber there and somehow feeds in uh the exact smoke it's super expensive if this uh burning brisket website gets any commissions off of that thing they're going to be rolling in the money uh <laughs> it is sold on amazon and i guess that is why uh they were so happy to include it, but yeah. So next week, the bottom five, like I said, there is some crazy stuff out there. Uh, you know, who is reading Renee? Oh my gosh, it is so crazy. But yeah, please uh, subscribe, turn on those notifications so that you will know when we drop the next episode in this two-part series on Smoker Reviews. Uh, you know, and get out there and get your smoke on.